Are you tired of asking other people which equipment is best for your sound system? I'm Kyle from Sonic Electronics and I'm going to go over the basics of matching an amplifier to your subwoofer setup. There are three key things to consider when pairing an amp and a sub. One, the total RMS power of the sub or subwoofers. Two, the final impedance, known as resistance or ohms, of the subs wired together. And three, the type of amplifier you wish to run, be it a monoblock, two-channel, etc. Okay, so first, find the total RMS wattage of all the subwoofers within the system. This is the power rating you want the amplifier to output at the given impedance of your woofers. Look for amplifiers that have CEA certified power ratings if you want a safe and accurate wattage comparison. You don't need to perfectly match up power ratings. It's okay to run a bit more or less power. Remember, peak and max power ratings should be ignored. These numbers represent quick bursts of power, not sustained musical power. Next, notice how an amplifier will often function at 1, 2, or 4 ohms and will produce different wattage output at each impedance. Depending on how you wire your subs, you'll need to match the final ohm rating of the subs to the ohm rating of the amp. To make things easy, check out our subwoofer wiring guide to help you find the final impedance of your subwoofer setup. Finally, a monoblock amplifier is often the best type of amplifier to use when powering one or more subwoofers because they're designed to output tons of power at low frequencies. It's not uncommon to use a two-channel amplifier when running low-powered woofers, however, the wiring is a little different. Avoid using a four-channel amplifier to run subwoofers. They're designed to produce a wide range of frequencies and low power, which is best suited for car speakers. For your convenience, we have developed a tool to make matching subwoofers and amplifiers easy. Go to our AmpliFinder amp and sub matching tool, enter the quantity and size of your subwoofers, and our tool will help you find the right amplifier for your setup. So with these three considerations in mind, total RMS power, vinyl impedance, and amplifier type, you'll be able to find the right amplifier for your setup. If you're still a little confused and have specific questions about your system, give us a call at 1-877-BY-SONIC. This is Kyle with Sonic Electronics, and happy bass hunting!